Hi, this is a review of these Senti headphones. It's the Thor X LS4430. Uh, they're a wired pair of headphones, as you can see here. Uh, the cord that comes with it is an iPhone cord. We'll show you that in a second. Um, right off the bat, they look great. They look like they're nice, well-built. A nice metal band here on the top. You pretty much get a nice fit uh, even on somebody with a nice big head like mine, uh, no problem with there. These head pads, uh, the ear pads, a lot of people rave about the comfort, but I found them to actually be a problem, which we'll discuss in a second. The cord that comes with it is a 3.5 millimeter cord, so you can plug that into your phone, tablet, or whatnot, and it plugs directly into the headphones themselves. There's a little... Uh, right on the left side here so you plug that directly into there you plug the headphones into there then into your device the nice thing is usually when something goes wrong with headphones it's usually in the cord that starts to become frayed or something like that and you'll notice the sound failing so the nice thing is having a separate cord you won't have that problem it also comes with a nice case to carry everything around in and uh, we're back to the headphones themselves. I thought these had a overall really nice sound, but they have one major problem in my eyes, and that is actually the padding is too thick. It was amazing to me. The bass seemed a little bit off. The uh, clarity just wasn't there. The lead singer singing just didn't seem like it was right in your face it seemed more like it was off in the distance a little bit and it was amazing to me the difference from wearing them the way they should be out of the box that you know everything sounded okay it didn't sound spectacular doing this just about that much made a huge difference in the sound all of a sudden the lead vocalist was right in the uh, forefront where they should be. Uh, the bass was more prevalent and more and tighter. It just overall sounded better. So while these nice big ear pads are nice and comfortable, I really think they end up hurting the sound. Now the clarity on these is really nice. For a $50 pair of headphones, there's still a lot of bang to the buck. Now I don't know how easy it would be to, uh, it doesn't seem simple to rip these uh, pads out and replace them with something a little bit thinner but I think if you could do that they would sound really really nice at the $50 price range they didn't quite match up to the over-the-ear clips headphones that I tested recently those were about twice as much money though so I didn't really expect necessarily a uh, you know something that was going to sound exactly like that for a lot of people these are going to sound just great for kids these are going to sound awesome and they may not notice that you're missing out a little bit of the bass and that because the headphone uh, the pads are just a little bit too thick beyond that i mean i think you would really and truly improve the sound by a great deal by making that one little tweak to it Otherwise, these appear to be well made. They sound good. I love the detachable cord. It comes with a nice case. It comes in a nice box for gift giving. So, you know, if you're looking for a Christmas gift for somebody that wants a pair of headphones in the $50 price range, I'm certainly not going to tell you that these aren't recommended or to tell you to avoid these. I'm just going to tell you if you can if you can listen to them, do that test. Take that take that test at home. Put them on. Give them a little squeeze and see the difference in sound and you'll know if that tweak is going to be that if you're going to hear the same thing that I am because for me it's an amazing difference in sound just by getting that speaker another half inch or so closer to my ears everything clears up the bass gets better but again overall a nice quality headphone definitely would recommend them in the fifty dollar price range you know give them a try and see what you think uh, again, this is a review of the Senti headphones, the Thorax LS4430. A sample has been provided for the purpose of this review, but that does not guarantee a good review. If you click on my name, you can go through all of my past reviews, and you will see that I'm not one of these reviewers that gives everything five stars no matter what. If it's good, I'll tell you it's good. If it's bad, I'll tell you it's bad.
If you have any questions, if there's anything that we didn't cover in this review, feel free to put those down in the comments there. I do follow those and may not get to them within a day or two, but weekly at least I check those comments and make sure uh, if you have any questions that I do my best to get those answered for you. And uh, if you found this review to be helpful, and I hope you did, uh, if you can click on that little thing right where Amazon asks you, was this review helpful? If you could click yes, uh, that means a lot to me, helps me uh, keep my rating where I would like it to be so I can do more reviews for you. Uh, again, this is the Thorax Senti Headphones Review. I am Darren O'Neill. Thank you for watching.